Welcome back to 10 minutes post the series. So today's topic is in this video we will learn logic operators. So don't worry, maybe it's going on 10 minutes hour. So just stay with me. Okay, slowly, slowly we will cover all the topic within the 10 minutes. So logical is logical operator in Postgres. We have three logical operators right now. I, I am going to teach you and or not. So simple, you can see if you learn core Java in my videos, the operator lecture is there. You can go and pause that lecture. There I, I have explained all the topics in the details and or not. So yeah, don't worry. I will show here also in the details. Okay. In the 10 minutes also. And if both conditions are true, then it will go as well true. Or means if any condition is like true, then it will go true. And not is nothing but when you perform the not equals to. Both are different. Then not equals to. That logical operator and or and not are used to combine the multiple conditions. Where we use multiple condition. Where clause to filter row based specify criteria. So now first one is the AND operator. The AND operator is used to combine two or more condition in a where clause in a where clause and it is written true only if all the conditions are true, right? Syntax is condition one and condition two. Both condition are true, then it will true. If any condition are false, it will return false, right? True. Now, this is the example you can see select a star from table name where condition one and condition two you can apply. Okay. Here you can see in this above query, the select statement retrieves row from table, table name. Okay. Where both condition are true. Return this, right? This is the theory. Okay. So now, now second operator is and operator is clear. Second operator is second operator is or the or operator is used to combine two or more condition in where clause and it is written true if at least one condition is true. Like here, you can see we have two condition and mid of t we have true. We have or and if this condition is true, then it's all that uh, it's written true, right? If any, uh, if both are condition false, then it's written false. Otherwise not. Here you can see the select star from table name, perform the table name, okay? Select star from table name where condition one and condition two. If these condition are true, if any condition has to, then table name will come. Okay. If any condition here, both condition has false, then table name will not come. And the query of select statement it is the rule from the table name where either one or two condition is true. Table name then table name is right. So now come and next not operator we have not operator. The not operator is used to negate a condition in where clause, in where clause, meaning it is written true if the condition is false and vice versa. It rule written true if the condition is false. If condition is false, then it returns true. It, it the, just opposite, not. Okay, not syntax is used to not. Right? Select a star from table name where not just write or not only pass one condition then it this this condition is true it means it return false right if the condition is true it return false if the condition is false then return is true then the above query select statement retrieves the row from the table where the condition is false then the return is true now here is the example you can see now first we we are doing in an Select employees, we have employees table in the last video we have created. In select employees whose name start with J and job title contains software. Like if start with J and job title is containing software, write this 
Drag this query. What is that query? Select star from employees table where name I want like. Name I want to like. Oh, where with the name na you are here you can see we they ask me write a query to with that name so name pass that name operator is like j start with the j how you can start with the j comma j percentile and job title perform the job title like software okay and here you can use na and if these two conditions returns true, then the output will become true. Let's execute this query. Okay, so 10 months series. Okay, open a new query tool. Select the star from employees, right? Employees where, where where name start with start with like like start with with j capital j and use and capital and or you can use small and uh, job title job underscore title job title like like contains what is that software is contained right software if you don't know the like operator, you can go and watch the last video, then come here. Okay, software. Now here you can, these two condition are true, then data will come. If any condition is false, data will not come. Here, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's we, here we use and with J, na? So first we use start with J. That's why data is not coming. If you don't know the like operator, go and check it, okay, here. Uh, start with J, job title and software. Okay, where software spelling mistakes just run. And here you can see only John is there in the database whose name is start with J and containing softwares. That's why it's returning. If, 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 okay, right. So if any condition is false, suppose if this one is Q, if data is not good. Why? Because the condition is false. This is not containing. That's why it's not returning. Right? Understood? So now go in that and is clear. So now go in that uh, or to so operate operator select whose start with J, whose start with J job title contains softwares. Softwares. Okay? So now same query or job title like software. This will return two rows. Okay? This will return two rows, John and software. Why? Because if any condition one is true, here, here in this example is one, both should be true, and this is example only one should be true, right? So let the star from employees where name like start with J, so J percentile and job title title like i will explain why the two is coming two data is coming percentile software software percentile right so here two rows will come only one row is coming why because we use and that's why use all okay just here you can see we have three rows right now we have three rows Let's see. John is start with J. This condition is true in this case. Okay. Then data is coming. In this case, this condition is John is true. Then data is coming. But in this condition, this condition is false. But this condition is true. Why? Because the software is containing. That's why. Okay. So I think it's clear to you. So now next is. Okay. Next is not. So, you know, you know, not means other two as a false, false. The true, that's it. So, here, the, uh, let's see. Select employee whose name doesn't start with J. Simple. Doesn't start with N. J. I need J start with Select. I need name with that. Select. Select. Oh, sorry. Select. Start. From. Employee. Employee 
where name like where name like start with start with j no देखो अभी क्या होगा जितने भी स्टार्ट होंगे ना वो आ रहे हैं सारे नहीं आ रहे क्यों नहीं आ रहे भाई सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉज परफेक्टली वेयर नेम इज ओके एम्प्लॉय मे बी एम्प्लॉय स्पेलिंग इज रॉन्ग दॉय एम्प्लॉज ओके इंसर्टेड Now name is that, but I don't want to these names. Just print not. Now, who's the name coming? Whose data is coming? Jinika J se start nahi hai. Wo saare aayenge. Wo nahi aayenge. Jinika J. Apne bas chari record and total by. Apne bas chari record hai. Agar dekhna ho, to ham dekh sakte hain. This sir, to kaise dekhenge? Saare record hai ki nahi hai database mein. तो सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम एम्प्लॉज एम्प्लॉज सिलेक्ट दिस दिस देखो ओके फ्रॉम स्पेलिंग बहुत स्टे हो जाती है दोस्तों सो लेट्स स्टार्ट चार ही रिकॉर्ड है ना भाई दो नहीं है दो जो जैसे स्टार्ट है दो नहीं स्टार्ट है आप कुछ भी एग्जांपल इसमें कर सकते हैं सो मे विल मेट मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में नेक्स्ट टॉपिक के साथ नए ऑपरेटर नए कॉन्सेप्ट के साथ थैंक यू